Once we've received our keypad, the first thing we need to do is head over to Azarin's website, azarin.eu. We'll navigate to the Downloads tab and grab the Azarin software and Azarin firmware. Extract the contents of the folders and run teensy.exe, located in the Azarin firmware folder. Press the Open Hex File button and select the hex file that does not have XIM in its name. From here, we need to reset our Azrin by using the tool provided with the product. The reset button is located in a small hole above the bottom left glide when looking at the underside of the keypad. Next, we press the middle button on Teensy to load the firmware and then the button to the right to restart Teensy. Once one or both of the keypad lights turn on, go ahead and unplug the device and plug it back in. Next, run the Azarin Setup EXE. After installing, click the green button at the bottom to calibrate your analog stick. Then click Begin Calibration and follow the instructions. Next, head to the Profile Number 1 tab and make sure that Analog Stick is selected for the mode. Now, follow the link in the description below to download X360CE. Load the EXE and click Game Controllers in the bottom left corner. Make sure the Azarin is selected and click OK. Also, be sure that the two boxes under the Controller tab are both green checkmarks. Click the Auto button in the bottom right and reselect Empty for each box except for the two stick axis boxes on the left. Once you've finished, go back to Game Controllers and select Properties. Select Calibrate and follow the prompts. After verifying your center point, you will be asked to calibrate the Z-axis. Go ahead and ignore everything from this point forward by pressing Next until you're finished. Click Apply, then click OK. Select the Options tab and make sure that Start with Windows is checked. From here, go back into Profile number 1 in the Azarin software and give each button a bind by clicking on its box. I'll have a screenshot of my layout in the description below for you to copy. Next, load into Creative and navigate to the Accessibility tab in the Settings. Make sure that Ignore Gamepad Input is turned off and Lock Input Method as Mouse is turned on. Go into Controller Options and set your Move Stick Dead Zone. Beware that setting your dead zone too low can cause stick drift like shown. If you'd prefer to copy my binds, I'll have a consolidated list in the description below. Now it's time to make some final adjustments to your analog sensitivity in the Azarin software. Click the cogwheel next to the joystick and test different levels on the slider until you find something comfortable. For now I've settled on a sensitivity of 150. Now you should be ready to practice your new movement and binds in Creative. This process will not be easy, but do not be discouraged. Improvement will take some time, but the reward will absolutely be worth it. I recently made the switch and will be documenting my progress along the way, so make sure to subscribe to my channel for future Azrin tutorial videos. Make sure to comment with any feedback and questions you might have as well. And by the way, you should probably drink more water today. I mean, seriously.